When Tom Brady said that Frosted Flakes wasn't fit for children and that Coca-Cola was poison, I screamed from the rooftops. I was like, finally, an athlete sticking up for children and really telling the truth about the food industry. And we need more role models and more athletes to take that plunge and to be that courageous. Because I tell you, it is important for the overall health of this world that we get the true message about food out to our children. We've been hoodwinked about sugar. We've had companies who rely on sugar, like the big soda companies, paying scientists to say that saturated fat was making us unhealthy, causing heart disease, causing obesity, and not actual sugar. And so our eyes have been off the ball for many, many years, having a different villain, but really the villain has been sugar. And to think that sugar is being added to 80% of processed foods on the market. And knowing that that sugar is directly related to diabetes, heart disease, obesity, autoimmune disorders, all sorts of diseases, we have an obligation to do something to educate the public about the dangers of sugar. And one way to educate the public to do that is through tax. Just the way cigarettes are taxed and the way alcohol is taxed. I think it, it makes sense to do that, but I think something grander needs to be done than just a tax. Many years ago, I took up acupuncture as a way for preventative medicine to keep me out of the modern medical system, to keep me out of that cycle of prescription drugs and constantly putting Band-Aids on things and not really finding the root cause. And one of the things that I learned from my acupuncturist is that all disease stems from the gut. And if you look at the body that way, and you think about all the things that we've been eating, all the pesticides we're being exposed to, all the chemical additives we're being exposed to, all of the plasticizers that are in the plastic wrapping and all of the other things that come with food on the go, our guts are constantly under turmoil and under war to keep healthy bacteria in there. When we're eating wheat that has been pre-harvested with glyphosate, a chemical that is shown to create little tiny holes in your gut and leak out good bacteria. And when we're eating these carbohydrates in abundance, our guts are completely destroyed. One of the most beneficial ways to start paying attention to our guts is to add foods that create a healthy environment for bacteria. Probiotic foods like fermented kimchi and tempeh and miso and sauerkraut, you know, and, and start to put prebiotic foods in your diet, like radishes and radicchio and all of these beautiful vegetables that you don't know what to do with, but they actually add a component to your gut and your digestive system to make it all work beautifully. Mm -hmm.